everyone, how's it going? I'm Chris Thompson and welcome to the Ryersonian Sports Wrap. This weekend, the men's and women's basketball teams took on Laurier at home, while the men's hockey team went down the road to our Toronto rivals, the University of Toronto Varsity Blues. Let's take a look. Let's kick things off at the MAC where the women's team was taking on the Golden Hawks and in the first, Kanika Pingiles drives, gets the bucket, then hits a three-pointer shortly after. Those are just five of her 13 first quarter points. But Laurier was being real pesky, getting the turnover here and finishing on the other end. They were keeping the score close, but the Rams kept attacking as seen here with the Mariah Nunes drive and a Siki Jez turnaround fader. And again, Laurier was keeping it close, but they just couldn't stop Siki Jez hitting another turnaround fader for her career high 22 on the night, and the Rams end up winning 86 to 75. On to the men's game, and they were taking a lot of similar storylines as the women's game to start, with Aaron Best playing the role of Giles, hitting a three-pointer here, another one here. He had 14 in the first quarter, and they were all in the first five minutes, but of course, Laurier would stick around, hitting a couple long balls themselves, keeping the score close. But in the third quarter is when they really pulled away, best with the three-pointer. Phil Vujinovic catches the alley-oop, and then Emmanuel Duressa, oh, he had a night, hits a three-pointer here, and then gets a dunk on a fast break right here, and another one following that. He had 21, best had 30, the Rams win 105-82. Now into some men's hockey at U of T. We kick it off in the first with a Marcus Hind goal, getting the rebound, sneaking it past the U of T goalie. A few plays later, U of T would try to sneak it past our goalie, Taylor Dupuy, but that puck didn't want to go in the net. Now late in the second, Lucas Frosch comes down, gets one in, that makes it 2-0 going into the third, where Ryerson almost right away would get a crazy bounce, get another goal, 3-0, and yeah, they would keep scoring and U of T would keep not scoring. Right here we have Jason Kelly sniping one in. And then a few minutes later, Kyle Blaney snipes his own one in from the tough angle. That makes the score 5-0. That would be the final. And Ryerson now moves to 14-13 and on the season. And that's all for the Ryersonian Sports Wrap. Thanks for watching.